Hi, I'm Jason, and today I wanted to show you some free ultralight backpacking gear that you probably either have laying around the house or having a recycle bin at home. I think a lot of times when people think about lightening up their pack, the first thing that comes to their mind is they think about spending hundreds of dollars on really expensive sleeping bags, tents, tarps, etc., and they forget about the little things. But every ounce counts. And so today I wanted to show you a few ways that you can lighten up your pack by reducing the weight of little stuff with things that you probably already have hanging around the house or in the recycle bin or things you can grab at a fast food restaurant. Let's take a look. Okay, here's a good one. Taco Bell spork. This is a plastic spork you can get at Taco Bell for free. You don't even have to buy anything. Just go in there, go to the condiment area, grab one, and you've got yourself a great backpacking spork. My titanium spork weighs uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 ounces, and let's see what this one weighs. 0 0.1 ounces. So this is actually lighter than my $20 titanium spork. Not bad. A lot of people like to have their morning coffee or morning tea, and they turn to things like titanium double wall insulated mugs. Those can weigh four or five ounces, but what I found is better is a free styrofoam cup. You can get these from work, you can get these uh, from the gas station. I stole this one from a hotel that I was staying at this weekend. And let's see what it weighs. 0 0.1 ounces. A lot less than 4 or 5 ounces. So again, free and probably works a lot better than the titanium double wall in a lot of ways. You can't beat the price. Dryer lint. It's free and it makes a great fire starter. The best practice is probably to drip some wax onto it and then put it in a Ziploc bag or something like that and then you've got a great fire starter. But I always save my dry, dryer lint uh, just you know, for a great emergency uh, fire starter. Condiment packages are free almost everywhere. Go into any Burger King, McDonald's, Taco Bell, uh, any place like that and you can pick up little tiny packets of salt or pepper or soy sauce like from this Chinese restaurant. Uh, I used to carry a small salt shaker because I like to have salt with my mountain house food or things like that and just realized you know I was carrying an ounce for no reason when I could just take these tiny little paper packets of salt and pepper and things like that uh, and tape it to my food bag so these again you know every time I go into a place like Starbucks or McDonald's or anything like that I just grab a handful of them stick them in my pocket and you know, it's great for backpacking. You don't need dispensers like salt shakers or bottles and things like that. Those just weigh you down for no reason. Aluminum cans. Cheers. You can do a lot with these things. So you can make a traditional Pepsi can style stove, like this, like from Glenn Van Pesky. Uh, you can also use a larger Heineken can to make ultralight cooking pots and mugs like this. This is a multi-use item. Just cut off the top and tie some guideline to the uh, top here as a lifter and that makes a nice 1.8 ounce cooking pot slash mug making it a multi-use item so those are easy to get just uh, make friends with someone who likes Heineken. Writing utensils. You can carry a Fisher space pen if you want and it writes in any condition but so does a pencil like this one that I snagged from, I believe it was a sushi bar. You can get these at golf courses or different places like that. The nice thing about these is that they're really light. This one doesn't even register on my scale. And you can maintain it in the field uh, by sharpening it with your knife. So pretty handy if you want to make notes or leave notes for people who are following you on the trail. And you know, like I said, again, they're free. So why not snag them every time you can? Another thing you might have laying around the house or might throw out on a weekly basis is a coffee bag. Here's a Starbucks coffee bag that I was about to throw away, but I realized it can be used as a leak-proof garbage bag when um, backpacking. So it's really nice because this is really heavy material uh, in terms of being puncture resistant, things like that. I can put my trash in there, roll down the top, and it's got these nice wire bendy things that I can secure it with and it doesn't smell and is leak proof so pretty much waterproof and I feel safe putting my garbage in there I've done it probably I know a dozen times and never had one of these fail water bottles ditch the Nalgene and just use an Aquafina one liter bottle 
These things are great. You're probably going to buy bottled water at some point anyway, uh, on a road trip or something like that. So why not save the Aquafina water bottle? It's one liter. It's got a pretty wide mouth. Not too bad. They're virtually indestructible and they weigh in at 1.6 ounces. So I can't think of a lighter bottle that's on the market today. Plus, the bottom is tapered, so it slips into your side pockets a little bit easier than something like a more squared kind of bottom than a nail jean bottle. So you can't beat the weight, can't beat the price, and they're really great and very ergonomic. So if you're new to ultralight backpacking, probably a lot of things that you've read make you think that you have to spend hundreds of dollars in order to lighten up your pack. I just wanted to show a few examples today of how you can do it uh, for free, basically. And there's a lot of other ideas out there that you can do on the cheap. So I'm calling all experienced ultralight backpackers to share ideas with us and show us how we can lighten up our packs with minimal investment and maximum benefit. So if any of you guys out there who have been doing this for a long time have any ideas, please post in my blog, please post on my YouTube channel, and uh, I think we'll all benefit from it. So thanks for watching. Again, I'm Jason from Gear Talk, and I'll see you later.